Hi there. Um, today I'm going to show you how I've got my cam browser set up. Um, it's still not as good as it is in HSM Works, um, but it does go some way towards getting there. So first of all, um, there's some code that you can use. So if we and if you might be wondering how to set that up, you just copy this code from this post um, to split browser and invent HSM. Come into Inventor and hold down the Alt key and F11, and then if you you got these two different types of documents here. Now this default.ivb is loaded every single time you start Inventor, uh, whereas this is specific to the document you got open at the time. So what you want to do is come into the application project here and right click on modules and select insert module and then name this module down here and we'll sort of call um, cam toggle let's call it cam toggle and then just paste that code into here and click save now we can just run that from the macros button here on the tools ribbon by changing over to the application project and then selecting run and you'll see that it will change the, the cam browser over now if you run it again it'll switch it back so we need to assign that to a key so um, on the cam browser here, or anywhere on the ribbon if we right click and select customize user commands keyboard select macros then highlight the the particular macro we want and then just type in the the key combination that we want to use so in this case here I assigned it to Alt C so I'm just going to do the same thing here again Alt C Control C is obviously copy so I can't use that and then save that off now when I do Alt C it just switches between the two okay so what else do you need to change so in the options dialog here that by default these two boxes are ticked now I'm not only producing toolpaths in Inventor I'm also doing CAD work as well so I don't want the cam browser to open every single time I launch Inventor so I'm going to turn that off now with the combine operation dialog with cam browser selected the behavior is this so we'll press the alt C to switch back when we edit anything in here the cam browser is replaced with the operations dialog so it doesn't matter what we do it fills it up so you can't go back and select anything from the browser so what you need to do is in the options dialog turn that off now when you edit this it pops out in a separate window and alt c still switches between the two right so how does this work in practice if we edit one of these operations to um, successfully select anything in the model browser you have to have a tool selected and then switch to the geometry tab and then we're going to use the alt c um, keyboard shortcut and I've found that you it's a bit inconsistent sometimes you have to click back here on the browser and then press alt c and then it will switch over now you can only select sketches you can't select anything else from the browser the sketch has to obviously have some geometry in it and it has to be visible uh, sorry it doesn't have to be visible it can be invisible um, but it does have to be within a part file it cannot be an assembly level sketch so here you can see that it's allowing me to select but if I come into a 3D model tab here and create a sketch on that face um, let's just draw something in here so it picks up on it doesn't matter what it is finish the sketch and now the switch back so we can see there's an assembly level sketch here now and then switch back to the cam browser edit this operation switch to the geometry tab click in here switch to the model tab we can't select this sketch but we can select this sketch so it would be nice to have this fixed because um, often you're not able to modify this part file because it's been released and locked in vault or it's your uh, the CAD designers in the company just don't want you modifying um, CAD models that have been released to the shop floor as a parting tip for those of you with a 3d connection device you can assign that cam toggle macro key combination to one of the buttons on your device so all you need to do is jump into the menu settings and switch over to if you've got the CAD mouse switch over to whichever um, 3d connection device you've got select the buttons um, option here 
and then whichever button you want to assign it to uh, select a little fly out here and then choose macros and we need to set up a new macro so we can um, choose a name you may have just noticed I'd actually already created one called cam toggle then click in here and hold down the key combination in the correct order you would normally so I pressed alt I press C released C and then released alt so I'll save that off you can see that's assigned here now and now when I press the number one button on my um, Space Mouse Pro Wireless my cam browser toggles backwards and forwards so that's pretty sweet really anyway so that that's it um, that's as good as it gets at the moment and hopefully it will get improved in the future thanks for listening and um, take care have a good day bye